So as far as we do know right now, the main antagonist in Godzilla vs. Kong is not in a title. It is neither of those two titans, but rather Mecha Godzilla. And just by looking at a few of these toy lines and a few of these posters, you can tell there's a lot of potential for this titan. Not only in the fact that it can play a gigantic role in the film, but it's also about the design. Believe it or not, the designs of these titans is very significant. That is mostly thanks to the history of them. It is almost like the Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3. It is a very specific design, but after all the new discoveries regarding the dinosaur, if it were to show up in Jurassic World 3, it most likely would look a lot different. So for the most part, I don't believe fans would enjoy that. So changing designs completely is never a good idea. The best thing to do was to modernize them. That is what they did very well with Godzilla and Mothra. King Ghidorah and Rodan kept a very similar design. But when it comes to mechanized titans, it's a different ballgame. If we are to look at Godzilla right now, it is nothing like the design back in the 1900s. That is of course aside from the body structure and the dorsal plates. There is still a very obvious difference from then and now. Godzilla looks a lot more real, a lot more modern, and even a bit more terrifying. And considering the fact that we are looking at a mechanized version of Godzilla, it would have to be not too far off the current design. And that's kind of the main question here. If we were to look back in the 1970s and throw that Mecha Godzilla into the film, it would not look too good. That is obviously my opinion, but that older version looked a lot more like Gigan than the new Godzilla. So I believe Mecha Godzilla in this film has lots of potential. There are so many different colors that can be used, the body structure has to be very similar to Godzilla right now, and the abilities that they can add into it, it could be amazing. So you would just hope that it's not too underwhelming. Ultimately though, aside from using the older versions, they really can't fail this. Nobody really has the perfect design of Mecha Godzilla. You would just hope it's a lot more modern. But what do you guys think about this? If you were to design Mecha Godzilla in 2020, how would you do it? What would it look like and what abilities would it have? Write all of your opinions on this topic down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and have a nice day.